Hi everybody, welcome to Spruverse, my scale model universe. People of Earth, welcome to a brand new build. This is the Delta Flyer from the television series Voyager. Now, I have a confession to make. I was not a huge Voyager fan, but I'm a big fan of vehicles, any kind of fantasy and sci-fi space vehicles. And when you get an opportunity to build something that's unique and, and not available, in um, on the regular market, uh, and I'll explain what I mean by that in a second, you jump at it. What I have on the bench here is the Delta Flyer in 172 scale from Cosmic Scale Models. That is C-O-Z-M-I-C -C Scale Models in the UK. I'll put um, uh, information on, on the, this company uh, below, and I'll also have information about Cosmic Models on my website, which is, of course, spruverse.com. And you can also follow along on the, uh, the sort of the day-to-day -day, uh, ins and outs of, of the builds, uh, as always, on Instagram. So let's dive in. Now, um, I should mention that uh, this is what I call a small batch manufacturer. Um, the gentleman by the name of Keith, who runs this company out of the UK, and I found this kit by watching the one and only Lou Del Masso, the great Lou Del Masso over at uh, Aztec Dummy. If you don't know Lou or you've not checked his uh, website out, please do. Um, he's a big inspiration to me and he's one of the reasons why I'm sitting here right now. But anyway, Lou has built this and uh, I felt I wanted to do a little bit of a follow in the footsteps. So here we go. There are two kits here. There's an interior and an exterior, and um, they are both available, but they are not combined. So if you're going to build the, uh, this kit, bear in mind there are, uh, there are two pieces that you'll need if you want to do the interior and the exterior. If you just want to do an interior, there is an option to actually black out the windows. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll show you that in just a second. But um, let, me, let me open this, this box. Uh, the box arrived, I mean, it's, it's beautifully packaged, I should say. And um, I was incredibly impressed because the packaging on this, the instructions and the way this is presented is better than a lot of major manufacturers. It's just extraordinary the amount of detail and care that this gentleman has gone to. So this is the instruction booklet for the Delta Flyer. Um, it's in full color. You get, as I said, the windows, which you can either have black out or you can have clear. It comes with decals, uh, very clean. Now they do have to be, uh, it's, it's a solid sheet. They're, they're not individually cut. So you do have to get all the way up to the mark and be very, very careful. So always, uh, always try to get yourself some very sharp scissors or use obviously a brand new blade uh, on, your, uh, on your cutting knife or your x knife and you should be fine. Um, some, some beautiful color details. It's very impressive the way it is, it, it's laid out. All the information is here for you to follow along. Uh, there's even a call out for all of the colors. Not a great color scheme on this kit, unfortunately. It's, it's sort of grays and greens and browns, but I think it'll come together quite nicely. And information on where you can uh, obviously put your decals. And on the back of this, there's uh, some more information about some of the other types of uh, figures and pieces uh, that he has available in his range. Now, this is the, the, the actual model itself. It comes in two pieces, and I will say that this is 3D printed. This is resin. It's just beautifully done. Um, it does have locating pins, so um, it is relatively simple to put together. There's a little bit of warpage on it, some good clamps, and holding it in pressure and being smart about it, you should be fine. Beautiful detail. The one thing uh, that I will point out is, and I've already cut this out, in the back here, there's a hole. This was actually a solid piece in two halves uh, of, of the kit. And um, as, as I noticed on um, watching Lou's build, uh, th that would have been really difficult to putty and clean up. Uh, especially since there's going to be a light source behind it anyway. So what Keith has kindly done is supplied an STL 
uh, file for the actual window. Full disclosure, I got mine from Lou, <laughs> who was kind enough to send it to me, but Keith is uh, more than happy to make this available for anybody who wants it. I printed mine in um, two versions to see what they would look like. Um, I printed a PLA version, and I've also printed a resin version, just to see which one I thought you know might be the best. Obviously, the resin version is, is going to be a lot a lot cleaner, but it's nice to know that, that both come out and, and I have both of them here. And, um, and as you can see, uh, when the time comes, this will drop quite nicely into the back here and add some, uh, some really nice uh, illumination to the, to the back of this model. So that is very, very, very cool. Um, it also comes with a separate roof piece, presumably so that you can leave this unglued and uh, enjoy your interior. But I'm always of a mind to glue mine down and seal them up and you'll see what you see. Uh, but um, I think you'll admit that when this is all sort of put together like this, it's quite an impressive little kit. The actual exterior comes with some beautifully printed clear parts, your red and your blue, and uh, a couple of um, navigation lights as well. And there are definitely um, some places where you can uh, add lighting to this. Um, I'm going to light it up, but I'm, I'm going to be very sparing and I'm not going to go crazy with it because uh, I, I think sometimes it can become too challenging to try and get all these wires in and, and down to a base. And, you know, bases and I don't always necessarily get along. Uh, but that is the, uh, the, the exterior of the kit. The interior, which I have now on the bench, comes with your base and all the parts you will need to create uh, this beautiful uh, interior and um, with really excellently detailed um, follow along instructions that I'm just absolutely impressed with. I can't say enough about this kit. Um, I'm, really, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, now, it's a lot smaller than you think, so getting details nicely painted and finished is gonna take a little bit of time, but I don't think this is gonna be a very complicated build. Um, and the detail on this is extraordinary. This is a, for all intents and purposes, a garage kit. Uh, now this is a gentleman who's got a, a very professional uh, organization. So I don't say that um, as a pejorative. I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being quite flattering. Um, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just bowled over by the uh, in, in incredible amount of detail and time. And I will point out he's also put some production stills on, on the back here. So the quality of the printing of this is just is just absolutely extraordinary. So I've started on the interior and I'll show you what I've done so far. But before I do, I also wanted to tell you that I've picked up this aftermarket piece from, from Keith as well. Um, and this is the Sci-Fi Hanger Accessory Landing Kit. And I bought these for, the, for my diorama. Uh, because I thought it would be fun to put this in a diorama. And what you get is, is you get uh, light blocks, little blocks for the wheels or for the landing area. And then I bought a bunch of luggage. Uh, check this out. You get cargo crates. You also get some storage crates. They're all obviously in the 172 scale, so they'll all um, fit perfectly within the diorama. And um, so I thought that that would be kind of cool. Uh, the other thing that Keith does, which I was really impressed with and appreciated, is that you also get people. Never easy to find people sitting in the right position. You always have to sort of struggle, and at least I always str struggle to find, uh, to, to find people. But here they are, um, and you get uh, four. Uh, I believe if you want uh, additional uh, crew members or uh, people to pepper outside of your diorama, those are definitely available on his... Uh, on his website, which is, um, I believe, yes, it's cosmicscalemodels.com. And if you want to send an email to Keith, he's terrific at responding. You send it to admin at uh, cosmicmodels.com. But I'll put that uh, in the des description below. Uh, so um, 
The other thing I wanted to tell you is, is incredibly for the interior piece, he kindly also supplies painting masks. So that was impressive. You get some decals as well, of course, as well as uh, this piece of what looks to be grating uh, that can be lit for, for the back and uh, some uh, light diffusing um, vinyl. And uh, this is a good quality. And I have to say, I'd love to figure out where this is sourced from. Uh, because this is exactly what you need when you're diffusing light in models. And this is just, it's just a really, really well thought through, beautifully sourced kit. So um, it's going to be an absolute pleasure uh, to build. Um, let me show you what I've done so far. I have given a very light coating of white primer. Uh, this just happens to be a, a humbral primer that I've used because I've had a lot of luck with humbral paints on resin. Um, don't know why, I just, I just have. So uh, this has gotten uh, a very, just a very light dusting. I wanted to be careful because there's all kinds of uh, incredible detail in this kit and I, I don't want to lose any of it. So I'm trying to be as, uh, as careful as possible. But here is your base. This is the front console that comes clear and there is an opportunity to light this. It sort of just called to me to, to want to do that. So uh, I'm gonna, uh, what I've done is, is I have used a little bit of liquid mask just on the, uh, the screen, the screens where you are supposed to leave them clear. And I've also uh, masked off a little light area on the back here so that I can actually put my lights against those, so they'll shine up and maybe they'll, they'll bleed onto the surface. I'm also gonna have a couple of ceiling lights as well uh, for the L cars, uh, just so hopefully they'll hit them and, and pepper them. And I'll probably have those in a blue light or something like that. Um, I don't wanna wash out the color, but I also wanna, I, I wanna give it a, you know, a little, little, sort of a little sense of mystery. And that just drops nicely right here. Uh, into the front of the ship like that. And uh, I'll just drill a couple of holes through it and underneath. And there is this, there's enough room for these nano lights, which I'm gonna be mostly using on this kit. They're really good. Uh, I get mine from Evans Lighting Design because uh, these chips have already been resisted and it just saves you so much time and aggravation when you can do that. So as you can see here, um, they give you plenty of light and that's going to work really well. And, and um, these wires are lovely and thin and uh, they're not going to be a problem to, uh, to put through this kit. Uh, there is a couple of up opportunities to add some lighting uh, to the back of this. I'll show you. Here is the rear door to the control compartment. and. Um, Again, I've just, I've done that in white. That, that came uh, clear as well. Um, and so um, you can see here um, that I've given that a little bit of white as well. And uh, there is an opportunity to actually light this ambient light source at the top of the ceiling right here. And so I've cleaned that hole out and I will, um, at the end, I'll put that little piece of clear resin in. Uh, we'll light block the back and, and that should that, that should pick that up quite nicely. And uh, that goes there. And then um, they give you several other parts as well, which I've given a dusting of primer to. What I've done here is I have used the masks that Keith provides, and these are gonna have L cars on the walls and I'll light those up. Um, I've masked front and back. Um, and he also provides uh, holes here, which is terrific. Uh, for a couple of small lights and I'll, uh, I'll put a couple of lights up there as well just to get some light going in. So, you know, there's little opportunities here and there. I'm not going crazy with it, but uh, this goes together quite nicely. Uh, this just slides in like this and uh, this piece goes in like that. And then you have two small side panels which come with this kit. Here they are and I've dusted them in white as well, but uh, the color scheme here is browns and grays and leathers and silver, um, and that'll be what it'll be. Um, there'll be uh, some Elkar uh, decals 
on this as well. But um, I have already glued those two pieces together, as you can see here. And I just wanted to sort of show you what that looks like. And then the only other thing I've done to date is I have given a coat of primer to these chairs, which are absolutely exceptional. They're exceptional. I'm just so impressed at the, the amount of detail in these. Now, the challenge here is, is these are two-toned with a little bit of silver around the headrest. So it's gonna take a little bit of painting, but that's okay. I'm happy to do it. I've left these on their tree. That's how they would have come out of the, of the, the resin uh, bath. Um, and uh, they're just, they're beautiful. One fell off, one snapped off, that's okay. I painted that. That will live here in the front of the ship, like that. So it's really coming together. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna continue um, my way through this, uh, through the, through the sort of the pre-build process, uh, what I call the pre-build process, where I'm, I'm, I'm sort of just going through and trying to figure out what my sub-assemblies are going to be, what I can paint and not paint, what, what can be glued down, what can't be. And uh, then we'll have a final plan for how to actually uh, put the rest of the lighting into this and, and paint it. Okay. Thank you for beaming back warp speed to the next step of where I am with this build. Now, I've put the front console in and um, I've added two nano chips to uh, the, the front console here. And uh, they're giving me quite a, quite a bit of light, which is, which is, which is pretty good. And um, so I'm relatively, uh, I'm relatively happy with that. Um, and I'm hoping, obviously, in a dark space, we'll get a little bit of light on the um, on the screens. There we go. So you can see that control surface is um, is just a little dry brushed. Really, it's a little raised surface. That's the only raised surface there is. And then on the other side, um, you can see there's just uh, one of the um, screens, which looks pretty good. So anyway, um, that is what the front console looks like. The next thing is, is so I'm, I'm essentially my plan here is now that I've got these little lights wired in and I've got the front console glued in and the decals are down, the seat is in. Uh, so my plan is just, just to slowly work my way back. Um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to put the uh, our cars on this unit here and add the uh, computer terminal. And the nice thing about the um, plans here is, is they're extraordinary. They take you through it um, one step at a time. And they're, it's, just, it's just so much, it's just a, a delight to follow along. Um, so here we are with seven. So I'm gonna cut out my seven, the way this works. So now these uh, decals are very nice. They're going down very well, but they are not pre-cut. So you do have to cut each individual one out. And that can be time consuming. But um, if you're careful and uh, you'll just sort of, you go along you'll be fine. And uh, so what I'm doing is, I'm using my trusty decal machine. I love this little thing. Uh, I found it on a website called Micromark. I'm sure, I'm sure most of you have shopped there. Um, they've got pretty much everything you would ever need for most hobbying uh, tools, they're not big on kits, but they're pretty good with unique tools and glues and clamps and all the kinds of interesting things that you need to, uh, to really make this fun. Now, I'm putting down a little, a little bit of my Walther Solvacet. This is my go-to. I don't know. People uh, have all different 
uh, points of view ab about uh, decal softeners and and uh, but uh, I'm uh, I'm very happy with uh, this this particular brand primarily because um, for me it works <laughs> so. Um, now, uh, the resin part that I'm working with here was given to you in clear, but I'm not lighting it, so I actually put paint down and I did not use the masking system that comes with this that allows you to, um, to actually um, get light through these out cars um, so uh, but I'm not I'm not using those what I'm hoping is is that some of the light I'm putting in the ceiling will will just reflect off of these and pick some of it up now um, I have tested the um, uh, cockpit cover down you know well I've, I've, I've looked at it I should say it's right here and you know, like everything else, once this cockpit cover is on, sort of like this, um, sort of like this, there. <laughs> um, there's so much detail that you're working on gets lost. I don't know. You know, but it's one of those fun things. Uh, we know it's there, right? The other thing I just noticed, too, is um, I might be a little too close here with this screen. I might have to do a little work on that, but anyway. So I'm going to continue now to work on these decals. You do not need to watch me lay down decals. But what I am going to do quickly is basically show you uh, my strategy for the front here. Everything st starts to drop in. The chairs go in, then um, the back wall will go in. Now, um, what I've got is uh, I've got the lithium crystal chamber, I believe this is, that you're supposed to see in the back wall. And uh, it's a clear part. It's a little resin clear part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the decals on it and then I've added a, a blue light that is going to go up inside of that. And then that's going to give me a nice blue glow here. And um, uh, th that'll give me a little pop of color. I've got a couple of opportunities for, for some uh, a, a color pop here. Uh, this one, um, which is the, the blue, and then in the rear, uh, there's, there's another color pop, uh, which I'll probably do in blue as well by the medical bed. Otherwise, it's all the, all the exterior lighting. Um, and I'm not putting a lot of lighting in here. I mean, just a, a few nano chips here and there. Um, you can certainly get lighting in. I've looked. It's a little snug, but uh, the, the wires can go around the console um, and under it. Um, uh, there, there might be a channel or two I might have to drill, but I'm not too concerned about it. And anyway, so this is the back wall, and this goes on like this, like this. And then there's um, uh, there's a piece here that, uh, that, that will drop in on this side. And then there's uh, this piece that will drop in on this side. Now on this side, this is going to get two lights. And I'm using these little um, these little 1.4s uh, in a warm white, and um, they're very bright, and uh, they'll give a nice little pop. I'm going to put a couple of them through into the chamber like this, and they'll, they'll, they should give me a little bit of backlight. And so um, between the the blue light for the dilithium crystal chamber and the white overhead lights. Um, plus the front console light. That should be enough light to indicate that there's life going on in the cabin. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. So um, anyway, I'm gonna continue working backwards with my decals. 
and then um, we'll start to glue some of these into place and uh, start to look at uh, this thing taking shape, okay? So uh, <clears throat> that's as far as I'm gonna go on this uh, update. Uh, the next time uh, we come together, um, I should have a lot of these pieces uh, painted and detailed out and we can talk about that. And then we can talk about strategy of how it is gonna go into the actual ship itself. And then we'll look at it in the ship and determine what lights we're gonna need for the exterior of, of this ship and, and move this build along. But um, uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And it's so nice to have something on the bench that uh, is, is, is clean and um, you, you, you really can enjoy putting this together. Now it is resin, so it's not without its, some of its challenges. Um, but I think that for the most part, this is a really enjoyable build, and, and I, I, I give it a big thumbs up. So if you're in the market to do something from Voyager, go pick up this Delta Flyer from Cosmic Models. And um, tell Keith that uh, Phil from Spruverse said hello. Uh, not that I get anything for this. <laughs> I just love this community, and I really appreciate this kind of craftsmanship. So it's really exciting uh, to me to be able to have something on my bench. Uh, that's that's literally this fun. Okay, so uh, thanks for uh, spending a little bit of time with me today. Uh, as always, be safe, be well, build something, guys, and we'll see you on the next update. Take care, everybody.